got wings. Oh, I don't know if it's because I have a doctor's appointment. I guess I'm really lightheaded. Essential, if you would like to sponsor me, I'm all the way here for it. What's up, guys? It's your girl, she's Francis, and I'm back here with another video. What's good? What's your poppin'? How y'all doing? What's goody? So, today I'm going to be responding to you all's questions you all left me under my how to get hired at Panera because apparently y'all got a lot of questions. So, um, basically I'm just going to go through the comments and answer whatever questions y'all still have left. If you didn't know, I used to work at Panera. Um, I'm still like technically in a system, but I only go, I only work there when I'm at home. I was going to work here in DC, but I didn't want to go back to the location of the hospital because they're trash. But, um, so I tried to go to the one in Chinatown and they were trying to make me wear slacks. They were trying to make me cut my nails. It was just a whole bunch of bull and I was just like, mm -mm. But I am here to answer your questions, so let's get started. Okay, so someone asked, when you started working there, did they give you a paper on dress code? No, they did not give me a paper on dress code, but when you're there um, in your um, orientation, planning bread or whatever, they tell you what the dress code is. Um, yeah, so in a dress code, but this varies, this varies, because most of the generic Panera uniform is jeans, black t-shirt, and a hat. That, that's it. But the one downtown was trying to get fancy on me, talking about some, oh, oh and some black non-slip shoes. The one in um, Chinatown was talking about some dress pants, no khakis, uh, no long nails. He wanted me to have nubs, like not even like the little short tips. He wanted me to have nubs. I'm just like, he wanted me to redo the Planet Bread stuff. I was like, sir, this is not no five star restaurant. Relax, please. But yeah, they tell you, um, they tell you what to wear. Someone said I'm having trouble finding the application at PaneraBread.com. Can you help me? It should be under if you type in Panera and then go to careers. It should um, and type in your. Um, zip code it should tell you all the openings that are in your area how much is the hourly pay it do, it varies on your state um, so usually it's minimum wage and the longer you work there you can get bumped up to a promotion like my sister just got a promotion so she's a manager now and she's been working for about two or three years yeah going on three years I think All these comments are like, I got hired, I got hired, thanks, I have my interview tomorrow. Do you know what the piercing policy is? I don't believe they have a piercing policy because like I know one of my managers have about six piercings, so I don't think they have a piercing policy. Um, I have an interview today, how should I dress for it? Business casual, they're not, like it's not like a corporate place, you know, just dress business casual, look neat, and yeah, like it's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying, it, it's not that. Can you have acrylics? It really depends on your location. Like if you're just starting to work out there, don't have acrylics. Um, say you've been there for a minute, then maybe you can, you start to get to know everybody a little bit. Then you could like test the waters with like a little shorter tip. But don't come in the interview with like, you know, super long nails, cause they'll be like, uh, cut them hoes. But, ha but it's easier after, you know, you've been working there for like six months, a year, and then, you know, you start, you know, getting acrylics. But for me right now, I'm just going my natural nails out. So, we'll see. Um, but yeah, most of the time you can't really have acrylics. Okay, my first day is tomorrow. How did your first day go? Was it overwhelming? Did you feel like you didn't know what you were doing? So, my first day at Panera, um, I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous, but you know, it's because you're new, they're super nice to you. They'll like be like, they'll like 
everyone know that you're new. They'll be like, oh, it's her first day. She's on the register. Sorry, she's a little slow. They'll help you. Like, everyone's super nice. So, like, they're not going to expect you to do a million things. But, like, it can get very intimidating during rush hour. Like, so lunches, dinners, breakfast. Like, that was very intimidating for me. But um, throughout the most of the, like, after that, it was, like, pretty slow, pretty chill. It wasn't that much to worry about. So, yeah, it was pretty, it was cool. Um, I have to go to Planet Panera tomorrow, apparently. That's what they call their orientation. Do you know what I should expect? So, at Planet Panera, um, don't expect too much. Like, literally, they're just going to see how you interact with people. Um... They're just basically seeing how you interact with people, how you would potentially interact with customers. Um, they'll, I remember they I, we played a game like, what's in my fridge? Like, I was like, am I two? Like, am I literally two? But just go with it. Just just go with the flow. Do Answer all the questions they ask you. Um, oh, you get to taste food, too. You get a lot of free food. Um, yeah. I applied yesterday. I don't know what the next step is. Um, our store is just now starting to be built. We don't have any in my town. When should I hear back about an interview and etc. So after you apply, I would say follow up with phone calls, multiple phone calls. Always ask to speak to the general manager. Say, hello, I put in my application. I'm just following up. Um, if they say, do not call during like rush hours. Don't call during lunches. Don't call like don't call in between like 12 to 3 call in between like 4 and 5 um yeah uh yeah and then like towards the evening so yeah um when should I hear about it? like back about an interview etc so they'll call you they'll call you if they don't call you you keep calling them and bothering them and get your interviews because that's what I had to do I had to keep you know applying pressure if you're working as a cashier does your hair need to always be pulled back into a ponytail yeah yeah most of the time yeah I had a bob once and I got away with it but if it, they most of the time they'll be like ponytail or hand me like some little rubber band I was like that's gonna pull my hair out but they, they still made me put it in so yeah you most of the time you have to have your hair pulled back especially if you're working in the back of the kitchen um someone said hey thanks for the great video did you have to do planted bread if so how long was it what exactly is it i started training this week and i'm scheduled for the planted bread class thanks so um yes everybody has to do planted bread if you um got hired um how long was it? My planning bread was like a couple hours. I would say one, two hours, I think. Um, you literally, you go, you watch a bunch of videos about the um, company. They give you the history of the company. They give you all the, um, like how fresh the food is. They tell you all of that. You get to try some food. You get to meet other um, people that are hired like in your area, not necessarily your store. Um, but yeah, you just get to interact and eat food and, you know, learn about the company. So it's pretty, it's pretty alright. <laughs> yeah, so, um, my, so just, let's, let's, a lot of these are about planting bread and all of that good stuff. So the basis of what I'm trying to get to y'all, um, get y'all to understand is working there is pretty easy. If you, as long as you know, are very, like, willing to do stuff, um, very happy, very like like to smile um a lot of energy not even a lot of energy i've worked with people that are just like you know nah, 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 nah. but um you know they like to have people that are upbeat so just be um interview very upbeat um you know ask questions if you have them just do all that good stuff so basically just do the like let's, let's line this out in steps so step one apply so you're gonna go on Panera Bread, you're gonna go to careers, and then you're gonna type in your area code, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of lists to um, apply it. It's gonna tell you what's available, whether it's associate, cashier, back of the house, dishwasher, whatever the position is, it's gonna tell you that. Um, step two, you're gonna submit your application. I'd say give it um, a week 
and then start calling. Call, don't call them between busy hours because they're never gonna get to you. Call them when it's like kind of dead. Keep asking for the general manager. Don't get discouraged if you don't hear from them. Just keep calling, keep calling, keep calling. Uh, that's something I learned for Howard. You gotta, you gotta stay on people. <laughs> um, what else? So once you get, um, once they finally set up your interview, you go to your interview business, business casual, business casual. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's like um, a nice solid color shirt, some nice dress pants, or um, just some nice pants. Doesn't have to be dress pants. Just, just like look neat, and look presentable. You don't gotta go in a suit. Um, business casual. Um, and then after your interview, you're gonna have Planet Bread. Um, I think they make you wear the uniform of Planet Bread. I'm not sure. I don't, no, I don't think so. I don't think they make you wear that. Um, but yeah, Planet Bread, I think you have to go once or twice. Yeah, you go twice. I think it's two days. Um, and that's where they kind of show you um, the information about the company. They show you they give you the history of the company. They give you all the information about the food. Um, you, get, you can get a whole menu to like familiarize yourself with. Don't worry, I, I still don't know the menu. <laughs> I mean, it takes like, once you start doing it, that's when you start um, learning it. Like I had to go and do stuff for me to learn it. You know what I'm saying? Um, after planting bread, then you're ready to work. And that's when your real training goes. So like, we also have this thing called e-learning. So every time like this, the company um, gets a new prod product, gets it, adds another item to the menu, changes a recipe or something. You have to go through the e-learning for that. So like all the staff should be trained on what's coming into the restaurant. Um, and then the cash register, people were like, oh I don't know what's, we don't know what's the sandwich, what's on the sandwich. Like the cash register, when you press like Chipotle sandwich, it's gonna tell you all the ingredients on there. So like, and then you can press a button to take it off add stuff like it's really easy um so don't be intimidated by that either um that's pretty much it so yeah if you all have any further more questions uh, if you all have any other questions let me know um make sure you subscribe because i know a lot of y'all watching this video and you're not gonna subscribe but that's like booty why wouldn't you subscribe it it's free it helps me out and i really appreciate it if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe as always. And peace out, sweet girls, and I love you all. Mwah.